You know how every now and then someone will give you a gift, you know, whether it's a birthday gift or a Christmas gift or just a gift for the sake of it being a gift. And sometimes the gift that you're given works out very well and that it's, it, it's really generous of them and it becomes the most useful gift you've possibly ever had. And you, get, you grow to like it and you get used to it being around and you use it more often than you think you will and you never give it a, a moment's thought until one day something happens to that item that you were given as a gift. Welcome back to the channel. Now, it's a little bit of a weird one this because it's not really automotive related and it's not really got anything to do with anything that I normally do on the channel. However, it is with regards to a gift that I was given over 10 years ago that I became a little bit complacent about and I just picked it up and I used it whenever I needed to use it and it became very valuable as the item itself. However, I recently destroyed it. Uh, I, I, I dropped it. But to show you what the outcome of it is and to give you a little bit more detail on what I was doing with it and what it is and what I was using it for, we need to go in the other room. Now the item itself was given to me as a random gift. Uh, it wasn't a planned special occasion. It wasn't a Christmas or a birthday or an anniversary or anything like that. It's just one of those things that the, that the person saw, liked and thought I would appreciate it as a gift. Now the item itself is a pocket knife. And to avoid any aggravation and any complication with anybody watching this anywhere, hitting any triggers, and I know it's stupid that I have to do it, but I'm not going to hold it with the, knife, the blade open. Obviously, even though it's only a two and a half inch blade, I'm not going to show it on camera with the blade open. But you don't need to see the blade, so it makes no difference. It gives me somewhere to hold it from. Now, obviously, as a pocket knife, it's, it's just a random folding knife. Now, the beauty of the knife was, on this side, as you can see, it's it's like a is, is it a fake wood i think it's like fake wood it's sort of, sort of like a, a plastic wood with a little brass marking on it i don't know what the brass marking says actually i think the uh the brass stamp is uh if that will focus on that i think the brass stamp is just the the maker of the knife itself the brand if you like so that side there is all like a like a wooden effect like a wood trim effect i don't know what that inlay is made of but it's like a wood trim effect this side, however, the side you can't see at the moment, did have, uh, it was in two bits, it has a, a little bit of trim at the top here, a little inlay at the top, and it also has a larger inlay on the rest of the, on the, rest of the handle. Now, when I was given it, it had a picture of, I don't know if it would be a snow wolf or a wolf, but it had the, the head of a wolf imprinted in the inlay. Now, I thought it was just uh, maybe a, a picture that the company had put on there and then they'd put like a bit of perspex or a bit of plastic over the top of it to finish it off or maybe it had been painted on there somehow. I'm not an expert, I don't know. But I did quite like the look of the way it was or I quite like the way it looked. Now, over the years, this has become extremely useful. I've used it for opening packaging the car parts have arrived in. I've used it for opening boxes when other things get arrived. And I've used it for slicing paper in half if I need to write a label out for anything. But most of all, recently, it became very useful when I was doing the roof of the garage, which is just out there. Now, the garage originally, when it was built, it had uh, he had put some roofing felt over the top of it at some point in three layers, I think it was. And that was all disintegrated, it degraded, and it needed removing. The amount of nails that he had in it, though, and whatever the sticky glue type stuff was he'd used to lay it down, meant that I couldn't just pull it off i have some way of cutting it off now this particular knife came in very handy for cutting that off and it is one of the tools i was using when i was outside up the ladder taking all the old trim off and the old uh, the, the old felt work off now obviously as you can appreciate when i was up the ladder on the roof of the garage i was using the knife to cut through the old felt and give us an edge to pull the felt off and go it all off the roof of the garage uh, and of course when i wasn't using the knife i put it down for one moment on the roof of the garage at the side yeah you've guessed it like an idiot i knocked it and it fell on the ground now that was about a nine nine or ten foot drop now at the time i didn't think too much about it i looked down and it had landed that way up so it was sitting on the ground flat with that way up but obviously still open so as i looked down on the ground it was just a case of oh, i've dropped the knife i'll get it in a minute now when i did go down the ladder to get the knife and i picked it up it felt stranger than it normally does. It felt a lot stranger than it normally does. And the reason why it felt different to how it normally felt is that this inlay on this side had fallen out. 
So at the time, I was thinking, well, I'll just pick that up and I'll glue it back in, some super glue, some Evo sticks, something like that, and glue it back together. However, the entire inlay, when it fell out, had shattered on the ground. Uh, I could find, I think I found two pieces of it. The rest of it was gone. And it was both inlay, so it was the inlay and the handle bit, and it was the inlay just here as well. Uh, both bits had just disintegrated, disappeared, shattered, and there was no way I could have glued it back together and made it look anywhere near as good as it did previously. So I reached out to another YouTube creator that I know in the area, good friend of mine. Uh, I reached out to her on her channel at Husky Resin Creations. Now she makes uh, mostly trinkets, jewellery, key rings, uh, coasters, decorative items, things like that, completely out of resin. And a while back, when she started her YouTube channel, I gave her a hand with some of the editing. As a thank you, she made me this. So I think that'll, I think that'll focus there. I think that'll focus. But she made me. It's just a, a key ring, uh, but it obviously it's got my brand name on of Double Zero Garage. And I asked her if she'd be able to fill the space where the inlay was with just some plain resin. It could have been clear for all I cared at the time. It didn't matter. I just wanted the knife to be as smooth as it used to be and feel as good and as comfortable when you were using it. So I asked her if she could do that or she'd have a look at doing that and maybe see if there's anything she could do it where she could do with it for me. She's had it for a few days and then uh, she's dropped it off a few minutes ago and filmed for her channel, filmed my reaction to getting the, to opening the package up. She put it in and what she's done for us. And uh, I, I have to say, I'm totally blown away by it. It's actually outstanding. I don't think I reacted as surprised on camera for her when she was filming it as I'm probably going to now, but it's absolutely fantastic. I'm blown away by it. So what she's done with it is um, she's, she's put a, a bit of color on it and she's actually done both inlays and then put, uh, put my brand initials on there as well. So this is what it actually looks like now. So as you can see, she's got uh, some random cogs in the handle, which is great. And if that comes up as uh, slightly reflective, she's got the DZG for Double Zero Garage in there as well on a, a reflective design. But that's absolutely fantastic. Oh, there's a better picture. That looks a lot better. Now, this is now lovely and smooth. It's fantastic. The knife feels as good as it did when I first got it. Uh, so it's... It's kind of the second time I've been given this gift and it's still going to be just as useful as it always was. Only this time round, I might take a bit more care of it. And instead of putting it down on the side of a high building, if I'm using it up on, the high, on a high building, I might just fold it up and stick it in my pocket next time round. Now, I know it's a bit of a weird video, but um, I just wanted to put that one out there and say a huge thank you to Anne at uh, Husky Resin Creations. I'll leave a link to her channel in the comment section below, in the description below, so you can pop over there and have a look and see what she does, if that's something you're interested in. I know it's, it's strange, it's not car related or anything like that, but I really have to put a thank you on there when this has come out as nice as it actually has. Uh, so by the time you see this video, she should have the video out of her actually repairing that handle for me. So if you want to see how she went creating that, Follow the link below in the description, nip over to her channel and have a look at that one. But if you've enjoyed this video, I know it's not a car related item at all, uh, but if you've enjoyed it, don't forget to press the like button on the way out and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.